building mega buses so that we can drive Mikey and JJ's family to safety away from this zombie army. Could we escape before we die? Louis, this is terrible. We're going to die when those zombies get here. Oh, I know, Pip. That's why we have to build the most amazing mega buses we've ever built. And I'm looking at the sun right now, and it looks like there's only 20 minutes until the zombies arrive. Wait, 20 minutes? Then we better get building. You go ahead and protect Mikey's family, and I will protect JJ's family, okay? All right, Louie. Mikey's family is safe with me. And JJ's family is safe with me. All right, so I'm going to get started on my wheels right now, Pip. I need to make sure sure this looks like a really crazy school bus, so I'm going to make the wheels awfully big. I'm going to build them just like this out of black concrete, but I'm also going to add some rainbow on the inside. So let me get some rainbow colors like red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and I'll get some purple. These are all the colors of the rainbow. I'm just now going to build a really cool circle going all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at this wheel. It's looking crazy right now. I just need to build it the same on the other side. Oh, Louie, your wheel isn't as good as mine. What do you mean it's not as good as yours? Pip? You've only built like a dirt pyramid. Uh, it's not a pyramid, Louie. This is my wheel. That is your wheel? Oh, no. I feel really bad for Mikey when he has to stay inside of your bus. Oh, Louie, no need to be jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to keep Mikey and JJ safe. It seems like you're trying to kill them. <laughs> I would never kill them, Louie. Don't even say that. Oh. Mikey is going to be so safe. Are you sure, Pip? I really don't know about this. Yes, Louie, I'm 100% sure. This has already passed all the tests that a real school bus would go through. Oh, I hope it has, Pip. Or else Mikey and JJ are going to be really unsafe. Or just Mikey. Because JJ is going to be super safe inside of this rainbow bus that I'm building. Wait, rainbow bus? What is the point of making it out of rainbows? Well. Well, Pip, as you know, diamonds are really strong. But the only thing stronger than diamonds is the power of rainbows. So I'm putting some rainbows inside of my wheel. Oh, is your school bus going to poop rainbows too? Yep, it's like a magic school bus. It's going to poop out rainbows and go really fast and escape those zombies. But wait a second. What are you building right now, Pip? What is that? Oh, Louie, right now I'm working on the front of my school bus. The front? Is, is that the bumper? Yep, Louie. Louie, just in case I want to play bumper cars on the road. I would not play bumper cars on the road, Pip. That is really dangerous. You might kill somebody. What do you mean, Louie? That family of four I bumped into earlier isn't complaining anymore. What do you mean they're not complaining? Yeah, I, I guess they're just having a really good nap. What? A nap? The Pip, you killed them. No, I didn't, Louie. Why would you even say that? Um, I'm pretty sure car crashes are very dangerous, Pip. If you crashed into a family of four, they are probably not doing very well. No, I think they're just playing hide and seek. Uh-huh, hide and seek. Uh, okay, Pip. Well, you keep working on your school bus, but do not crash into any more families, okay? Because Mikey and JJ's families are the only ones we have to keep safe right now. But anyways, guys, look, I need to to make this really, really long. This bus has to look exactly like a real one. So let me just go ahead and use copy and paste to paste these wheels in just like this. Now I have one wheel there and one wheel there. And I just have to do the same thing on the other side. So let's go ahead and move all the way over here. And I will rotate the wheels by 180 degrees, which means it will flip it around. Now I have a wheel there. And I have to do one more wheel all the way over here. And and bow. Now we have four wheels placed down, and we are ready to build this rainbow bus. But now that I think about it, I've got these wheels down, but I actually need to connect them up, or else how are they going to be powered by the engine? So to do that, I'm going to get some iron blocks, because we are going to be making something called an axle. And if you guys know what an axle is, comment down below. Just in case you don't, axles are what connects the wheels up to the middle of the bus. As you can see, when you look at a car wheel, it has these big iron and P 
pieces coming off of it. And these axles are what turn around to make the wheel turn as well. And they have to be really strong so they don't snap or else the wheels might fall off. I think to make this faster to build, I'll go ahead and grab that with world edits and bring it all the way to the next wheel just like this. Then all I have to do is a simple command to set it to iron blocks. Now we have one axle like this. Let's go ahead and just do another one over here. I will place it just here. I will go ahead and bring it all the way back to the other wheel over here. Just like this. Now let's set it to iron block. And bada bing bada boom. We have these axles. Now these wheels are connected together and can turn around when we move the steering wheel. But now I need to connect them up in the middle to make it connect to the front wheels too. So let's go ahead and do that. Now look at this. We have connected all four of the wheels together. And this thing is going to be able to drive around now. Pip, does your bus have axles? Because I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like it does. Uh, I don't need an axe to drive my school bus, Louis. An axe? No, I'm saying axle. A-X-L-E. Oh, uh, Louis, I don't need an axle. Uh, I have my wooden planks. You need wooden planks. You're using uh, wooden planks? Uh, of course, Louis. Is there something wrong with that? Um, only that wood is the most terrible material to use for a car ever. Oh, don't worry, Louie. You'll be fine. Uh-huh. We'll see about that, Pip. I really, really hope that you aren't planning on using wood for your axles, but I guess there's no stopping you. Oh, Louie, I'll show you. I don't need axles. My school bus will run just fine. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. But in the meantime, Pip, have you looked at my bumper yet? It's all made out of rainbows. Rainbows are ugly, Louie, just like you. What, what do you mean, like me? I'm not ugly. Right, guys? You have the face only a mother could love. What? That's so mean. Oh, whatever, Pip. Let me just connect these up like this and boom. We now have a rainbow bumper to go on this thing. But I think I want to make this a little bit taller. So let me go ahead and just copy these blocks over here. Just like this. And I'll go into the middle of my bumper, copy it, and then I'll jump up around about all blocks and paste it in. And now, as you can see, this bumper is looking awesome. Yeah. Just to connect it up with some iron like this to make it look amazing. But I think I want to add a little bit of depth and make it look 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'll place down this iron just on the inside of this bumper area. And this should make it look like a real bumper. And it'll look so fun. Pip definitely wasn't wrong when he said we could play bumper carts with these things. Look at that! Alright, my bus is looking pretty good so far. And wait a second. Pip, did you write your name on the side of your bus? Yep, Louie, I'm still working on it, but it's going to say Pip Bus. Um, how is that going to help you against the zombie invasion, Pip? You know zombies are really scared of me. Um, I don't think anyone could be scared of you, Pip. You just look so scared. Louie, get out of my way. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to spell a B in Minecraft. <laughs> Let me show you really quickly. You're trying to write bus? Just do this, Pip. Are you ready? Bum, 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 bum. And that's a B, right? Wait, no, that doesn't look right. Let me just do this. Do, 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 do. And there's a B for you, Pip. Wait, oh, thank you, Louie. I'm not very good at spelling. Oh, no problem. I don't mind helping you out, but I don't think I can make your base any better than it is. Oh, you're right, Louie. You can't make perfection much better. What, what do you mean, perfection? Your base is terrible right now, Pip. Besides, have you even seen mine? I'm doing a lot of work on this right now. I'm filling up all of these corners just like this so that I can make my bumper actually attach to my wheels. All aboard the Pip bus! Oh my gosh, guys. Pip is so weird. But it's fine because as you can see, I'm filling up the bumper right now and I'm making it look very nice. I'm adding this rainbow pattern to the entire thing. Let me just go ahead and grab this and copy it. And I'll show you exactly what I can do with this in just a moment. If I get this block right here and I go all the way over here to this purple block, I can fill it in so that it looks like a rainbow. I'll just do this command and boom! Look! So I can get these blocks right here and connect them all up and just add the rainbows really easily like this. Let me just get rid of some of these excess blocks and just keep it rainbow colored over here. So the front looks just like a rainbow and the top is nice and rainbow-like. Look at that! 
that. That is looking super awesome. But now what I have to do is start working on the actual bus shape. So let me go ahead and do I'm that. I'm going to fill it in on the inside, inside of here. This way the wheels will stick out and it'll look very cool. But first, before I do that, I have to make sure I have the area that the driver will drive in. And that will be this area right here. Let me just make sure it all connects up just fine and looks just right. So let's build up around about, let's say here. And build it all the way up into the sky around this high. Now, I just need to set the walls to be the rainbow colors. Look at that. Now we have this awesome rainbow color right on the front like this. And we can go ahead and turn this into a big window. Let's set that to glass. Whoa! This thing is awesome. Now we need to add some rainbow colors to the entire of this bus. You know what? I'm going to make an opening here. And this is where I'll be able to get to my driver's seat. But I need to keep working on my bus right now. So let's do that. I want to make sure that the floor looks like rainbows. So I'm going to fill it in all right now. Let's go ahead and just put some red and then some orange, just like a rainbow. And let's fill in all the colors. And then we can go ahead and copy and paste this entire pattern down this bus. So let's copy it from here all the way over to this corner over here. And boom! Look at that. I just added a bunch of rainbow effects to this entire area here. And this will be the floor for my bus. Boom! Perfect! Now I need to go ahead and build the walls up, though. So let's go further out from this back axle all the way down here. And out from the back. Now let's make this area of the bus super tall. So that it looks just like a real life one. Just like that. Now let's set the walls to look awesome and rainbow-like. This is cool! And now all I have to do is go from this side all the way up here. Over to this area. This will make the bus big enough. Now I need to set the wall to that pattern. And whoa! We have a rainbow colored back of the bus. Now that I've done that though, it's time to add some huge windows. I think this is going to be a double decker bus. So let's do that. As well as adding some windows on the front. So we'll add one all the way over here. And we'll go out to here. I'll set this all to glass now. Look how good this looks. Alright, let's do the same thing on the other side too. So I'll get one piece of glass here, and I'll set it to glass down to around about here. Now let's set it to glass and boom! We have all of these areas we can see out of on the inside of our bus. This kind of looks like a truck. Don't you guys agree? But now all I have to do is add some windows. So I'll add one up here. I'll go across a few blocks and add another one like this. And then I'll do the same pattern all the way down this bus. I'll add another one like this, and then I'll add a small one at the back. Just like this for all the cool kids sat at the back. Do you guys think you're the cool kid who would sit at the back of the bus? Comment down below. But as you can see, we have some windows on the top. Now it's time to add some windows on the bottom. So I'll add some bigger windows just down here like this. Boom. These ones look really cool. But the best part about this build, guys, is that I'm going to be adding a ton of traps on the inside to keep Mikey and JJ safe. I'm not only building a bus to make it look cool. I'm building a bus to make it be cool as well. There we go. We have two layers of windows on this thing. It looks awesome! All I have to do now, though, is just add a roof onto this thing. So that I have somewhere that I can stay away from the zombies. I'll just set this to red concrete. Then I'll also do the same thing with the floor over here. Inside of the driver's area. I'll set the floor to red concrete. And I just realized something. How am I going to be able to drive this bus if I can't even see out the front? I'll be all the way down here! Oh, I need to make this work, guys. So let me just make it so I can get in through here. And let's start working on where I'm going to drive the bus. I definitely want to be able to see out of this window. So I'm going to go ahead and build a massive iron platform like this. This will make it so that I have an extremely strong platform that won't break if the zombies try to break then in. Then I'll build it going all the way down into the ground like this. This way it'll just hold itself to the ground and won't wobble around whilst I'm driving. I think I'll build a staircase going all the way up to the top. And I'll put some quartz stairs on it. I need to make this look really cool as well, because if I'm going to be driving this thing, I want to make sure that I also feel cool. So here we go. I'll place in these iron blocks. And now let's get some stairs. I'll get some quartz ones, and I'll get some spruce ones. This way I can make a really cool design. Just watch this. I'll place these quartz stairs in this way like that. And then I'll put the spruce stairs surrounding it, so it looks like it has a really nice outline. What do you guys think about this? Doesn't it look awesome. But now, to be able to drive this thing, I also need a steering wheel. So let's go and put a 
massive one right here. What better to use than this large cogwheel? I'll place it right in the middle like this. And this is what I'll be able to steer this entire bus with. But I also need a control panel as well. I want this to kind of look like a Tesla and have a really cool screen I can look at. So I could play games while I'm driving. And also text my friend. There we go. But wait a second. I also realized something else. How am I supposed to see if there's other cars behind me? I don't have any mirrors on my bus. So let me go ahead and put some of those on. I need to make sure they are really, really big. So I can see everything behind me. I need to make sure these are you. So let's make these mirrors really big on the sides. Like this. I think that will work. I think I'm going to make it look like there's a car in the reflection of the glass. So let's go ahead and do that. So I want to make it actually look like there's a road behind me. I'm going to get some lime concrete to make it look like there's grass next to the road. And then I'm going to actually place in all of this black. And as you can see, it looks like a road going over a grass hill. So I'll make it so that there's a yellow car behind me. I'll do this right here. And as you can see, there's some red wheels. And it's a yellow car. That looks pretty cool, right? Then I'll go ahead and do some white concrete for the clouds in the sky. This looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these over to the other side of this bus. Now I can have two cars behind me. Let's put it right here and rotate it just a bit so that I can paste it on. And whoa, this looks cool. As you guys can see, now if I look in my mirrors, I can see a car behind me there, and I can see the same car behind me on the other side. This driver's room is looking awesome. But guys, I need to make sure that this thing is defended. So let's go ahead and make an entrance to go on the inside. I'm going to start off by placing a massive lava moat around this entire thing. This way, if any zombies try to attack me, they'll have to get through my lava moat first. And I don't think zombies work very well with lava. They don't know how to get past it. So I'll go ahead and make a two block wide lava moat. This way the zombies won't be able to jump over and they'll burn. Now I'll go ahead and add a fence going around the entire inside of my base. This way I can place a ton of things inside of this lava moat and not have to worry about zombies getting in. So let me make some walls and let's say I'll do some oak fences. That looks pretty good. But I just realized something guys. If I want to get inside of my base, I'm not going to be able to get over these fences. So I'm I'm going to make a redstone contraption that allows me to get in and out. Let's just build it right here. This is going to be a piston door. And it's going to allow me to get in and out of my base whenever I need to. Let me just place down these pistons like this. And I'll place some iron blocks right about here. This is what will make up the doorway. Now, I just need a pressure plate that will power the entire thing. Let's put it right here. And then let's put some more over here. Now, all I need to do is get some torches that will power these pistons. Here we go. As you can see these bottom two are power. But now I need to get some redstone dust to power the top one. I'll just make this redstone go around and power this. Let's do it on the other side. Oh, Louis, my base is looking way better than yours right now. You should look at mine. What do you mean it's looking way better than mine? Why do I really doubt that? Let me see. Well, that's actually pretty good. Oh, Louis, of course it's good. My building teacher taught me so much. Oh, no. I know who your building teacher is now. Please don't tell me Hero Brian taught you. Of course he did, Louis. Why wouldn't he have? Hero Brian's scary. Why would you even want to learn from him? Oh, Louis, he's not scary. He's just very misunderstood. Misunderstood. Are you sure about that, Pip? Of course I am, Louis. He taught me so much. I'm very grateful for him. Um, I mean, I know you're grateful and all, but you've got to be careful hanging around Hero Brian. He's really dangerous. What's the worst that can happen? You might die. That's not going to happen. Trust me. Okay, but when he eats your soul, don't come crying to me. Well, I don't even think Hero Brian likes KFC. What? KFC? I said your soul. He might eat your soul. Oh, yeah, literally, people like turning my soul into KFC. That's because you're a duck and you taste very good as KFC. Trust me, Pip. Have you eaten my family members, Louis? Uh, la, 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 maybe a little bit. Louis, I can't believe you would do such a thing. I thought you had my best friend. Why would you eat my family members? Because they were tasty. I'm sorry, Pip. I just really wanted a snack. You need to apologize to my entire family tree. Um, what do you mean I have to apologize to your entire family tree? What if I don't want to? Yeah, I'm going to make you apologize. Look up my entire family tree. Whoa! No, no, no. Get those chickens off my base. No. <laughs> 
opening and closing my door. Um, Pip, they just trapped themselves in there and died. Well, Rudy, why are you making a death trap? To kill the zombies. But you're making your family go inside. Why did you just push my family member into lava? Um, they really, really deserve it. I'm going to get you back for this. This is horrible. Oh, no. It's actually great. It's the best base you've probably ever seen. Louis, you think your base is better just because it's made out of rainbows. But just you wait. My school bus is almost magical. Almost magical? It sounds like you AI generated that. What are you saying? I'm saying it's the magic school bus. Oh, no. I don't want to see that thing ever again. Oh, last time I went on the magic school bus, we went on a tour around the human body. And it was not fun. At least you didn't go inside of a duck. Wait, that sounded like an awfully weird field trip. Don't worry, Pip. Our buses aren't going to shrink down that small. We'll be just fine. After all, these are huge! Mikey is going to love how big my school bus is. He's going to take this to school and have so much room! Um, I thought you were about to say Riz, but okay. Oh, Mikey has a lot of that. All right, Pip. Well, I don't know about that. But as you can see, I've added some lava strips going all the way down here. This is just so that the zombies don't walk this way. Just in case they do. Let me just add a wall going all the way down here. This is going to be where the entrance to my bus is. So I need to make sure that it's protected. As you can see right here, I'm adding these walls on just like this. And right here, I'll be able to add a ton of traps in. You know what? I don't like this black concrete. I want it to be white concrete. Let me go ahead and change it. Just like this. Now it's a lot easier to see. And now right here, I can add a ton of traps. And what better to add than some spikes? Those zombies are going to have to walk through, whereas I can just go ahead and jump over. But now, guys, I'm going to add a little bit of a cool track. I just need some lava and these things called ghost blocks. And if you didn't know what ghost blocks are, they're basically like normal blocks, but I can walk straight through them. Look! So I'm going to get these ghost blocks and make a little hole around here. And I'll fill it up with a bunch of lava. Now, I just add some ghost blocks on the top. And if I walk over, I'll into a death trap. It's genius. But now, after this, I need some dispenser traps. And this is to stop anything from getting through. So I'll get some dispensers like this. And what should I put inside of them? It seems like my spike trap will hurt them. My lava fall trap will burn them. But I think I want this to be an arrow trap. So let's get some tripwire hooks and some string. This is how we are going to power these machines. I'll just go ahead and do this. And then I'll connect them all up with this string. Just like this. Now, if I stand on one of them, as you can hear, the dispenser is all clear. Now, I just need to fill these up with arrows, and anything that tries to get through will die! So let's fill up all of these dispensers with arrows like this, and boom! Now, if I step on one of these tripwire hooks, it'll shoot some arrows at me, and if I run across, as you can see, it's crazy! It's like Indiana Jones. But now that they got through all those traps, I guess they can go up into my bus now. So let's go ahead and make a nice little entrance out of these iron blocks, just like this! And I'll curve this wall going into it like this. And now let's add some ladders. Let's put these going all the way up to the top. And now we are inside of my bus. And oh, wait a second. Did I forget to put a floor here? Oh, silly me. Let's go ahead and add that floor in right now. I'll put it right here. And I'll set it out of iron blocks because the back of the bus has to be really strong. Now this is where I can add all of my room. I think I'll split it up into parts. This iron walkway is going to be the middle of the room. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll get this iron block right here. And I'll bring it up to this window over here. Now I'll make some walls out of some stone bricks. This is because they are really, really strong. I'll do the same thing on the other side too. Just like this. And now we have walls for two rooms we can build inside of. I think I'll make one room a living room and one room a kitchen. So let's do that. But first, I want to add some really, really big glass windows on them. So let's do that. I'll set glass to this one. And I'll set glass to this one too. Now I just need to go into the middle of these doorways like this. And let's go ahead and outline them with iron blocks so that it's really strong just in case the zombies try to get in. There we go. Let's do the same thing on the other side too. Just like this. Now we have two doorways going into two different rooms. And I think I'll start with this one. This will be Mikey and JJ's secret rooms they can hide inside of. So let's do that. I'm going to 
add a wall for Mikey. This is how I will know that this is his room. I'll make his wall out of lime concrete. Because it's green. And you know what? I think I'll add Mikey's face on it. Just so that I know that Mikey's in here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add Mikey's mouth like this. And boom! That looks about right. Just like that. Now let's add a door going in through Mikey's chin. And let's make his room. So Mikey's room is really easy to build. I just need to get some iron blocks like this. And because Mikey absolutely loves swimming. Because he is a turtle. I can set this to water. So now Mikey has a crazy pool to take baths in and swim around in. Mikey also likes watching TV. So I'm going to make a TV area where he can watch any show he wants. Just like this. Now let's also get a sofa too. And wait, no, we don't want a red sofa. We want a green sofa. This will be Mikey's sofa that he can sit on and watch all his favorite shows. But we cannot forget the PC setup too. Mikey also records videos. Just like me and Pip. So I'm going to get a PC setup that he can play on. Just like this. Let's also get some note blocks to work as speakers on the computer as well. There we go. And then we'll grab some seats that he can sit on too. This room is looking very nice. Let's just go ahead and add a roof on. And boom. That's looking good. Now let's go ahead and make a JJ room. And this one shouldn't be too hard to build. I'll just go ahead and make this a red wall. Because I don't think JJ needs to know this is his room. He just needs to see red and he'll like it. There we go. I've added a red wall in. Now it's time to add some doorways. And let's make JJ's room. So I'm going to go ahead and add some arches right next to the main door frame. And can you guess what I'm building? Because it has something to do with reading. And if you guys didn't already guess, it's a bookshelf that JJ can read all of the books he ever wants to. And boom, I've added in a ton of bookshelves. But since this is JJ's room, we also need to add some cool things in. Like some of these quartz pillars and stairs. This is going to be really cool for what I'm going to build. I'll put some quartz pillars up like this. Then I'll add some stairs with some slabs in the middle. This kind of looks like a table. But now I'll do it again up here. And now it's a shelf. Let's just do it one more time on the top like this. And boom, we have this awesome looking shelf. Now I can add a ton of plushies in. JJ will absolutely love this in his room. I'll even remind him of the zombie invasion by putting some zombies down too. Like these little zombie plushies. But now it's time to add his bed in. So I'm going to make a very large area up here. Because this is something I've always wanted. A super huge bed. I'm going to make an area up here. And I'll make it like a big concrete block. Now, I'm going to add some stairs going all the way into it. It's going to be so awesome. Let me just do that. And let's also add some of these stairs like this. So it kind of looks a little bit nicer. Perfect. Let's now go around this with these quartz slabs to make it look extra cool. And now it's time to add the beds in. This is going to be the coolest looking bed you've ever seen. I'll go ahead and do this. And then this. And now let's get some of these red slabs and put them in the middle. Now we have an extra long bed. This looks awesome. I'll also use these red carpets to work as a little duvet over the top. So that JJ and Mikey can both sleep under the same bed like that. This room is awesome. But what I cannot forget is JJ's computer setup too. He needs to be able to record his videos as well. So let's get some note blocks like this for the speakers. Let's get a PC and this really awesome one right here. Let's put them in the middle like this. Look at this one. This PC looks awesome compared to Mikey's. It's also red as well, which makes it really nice for me too. Now all I need is a nice red seat for JJ. And boom, this room is complete. So let's go ahead and add our roof on now. So I'll add the roof out of red wool because JJ would love that. Boom. All right, there we go. We now have the bedrooms, but wait a second. I'm looking out of the window, and what is Pip building? Oh, Louis, do you like my school bus? I don't know about you, Pip, but that bus is looking very, uh, bussy. Oh, so wouldn't you say it looks bussin'? Uh, no, it's not bussin'. It's terrible, but it does look pretty okay. Show me around really quickly. I want to see the inside of this thing. Oh, come on in, Louie. I'm just starting on the inside, and I just finished up the engine. Whoa. You did an engine room? Maybe I need to do one of those. Yeah, Louie. How 
How else could you power a school bus? Pip, I haven't been thinking about the engine just yet. I've been working on traps and a bunch of rooms inside of my bus. Well, your traps aren't going to save you, Louie, when I can just drive away. Oh, that's a good point. You know what? I'm going to build an engine right now. Thanks for the idea. Oh, Louie, I bet it won't look better than mine. Oh, of course it will. I'm going to build it under the hood. Over here. Let me just fill in this area right here with a bunch of red concrete. This way, I can place down an engine inside. And it'll make sure that it won't fall out, too. Let's just go ahead and speed this up with admin commands. And here we go. Boom! Now it's time to build this engine on the inside. So let's do this. I always love building an emerald engine. This time, I'm going to make a rainbow engine. Because rainbows are really cool. So let's go ahead and build this. I'm going to get some red like this. Then some yellow, purple, orange, and blue. And I'll do the same pattern all the way down like this. Now, let's cover it up with some red again. Now, this is the shape of which our engine is going to be. I'm also going to need some fans because these engines won't be able to cool themselves down and they can't blow away any hot air. So let's do that. I'll put some fans on both sides and I'll put a gold fan on the other side over here. All right, now that my engine can get rid of all the hot air and won't overheat, it's time to actually start on the engine itself. So let's go around this in some purple like this. This purple color is is pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and get something called a creative motor. This is what will drive my entire engine. I'll also get some of these cog wheels. This is what will spin all the way up to the steering wheel and through to the wheels. I'll make it come out of the bottom of this engine right over here. And boom. Look at that. Now I'll make it go into this yellow that goes down through the axles to the front wheel. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. I'll just connect this up and let's place down a ton of these cog wheels. So boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get it to go into the yellow. And then cover it up with a gold fan. And boom, that is amazing. Let's just go ahead and go over the top of this orange concrete. And Boom. That is looking nice. This engine will power this entire bus really nicely. I'm sorry to say this, Pip, but my engine is super powerful. Wait a second, but Pip, I don't know about you, but your bus is looking really good. Tell me about it, Louie. I'm a great builder. Hmm, I mean, you're very good at building yellow things like school buses. Maybe you just need to build more yellow things in our build challenges. Well, Louie, I would do that, but if I did that, I would destroy you in every single bus. Build challenge. What? No, you wouldn't. Don't lie to me. Oh, Louie, welcome to the Pip Bus. I have to admit, though, Pip, this is pretty cool. This is the first time I think I've ever thought that your base looks weirdly better than mine. Oh, Louie, I'm glad we can agree on something. You know what, Pip? It's fine. I can make this bus look a little bit better. It might just take a little bit of messing around. Uh, you know what? I've done my rooms. I'm going to do my kitchen now. Good luck with that, Louie. All right. You know what? I have to make this kitchen look really cool. I'm going to get some white. And I'm also going to get some blocks of iron. Then I'll get some iron bars. And I also need an oven so this kitchen will even work. Then I'll get one of these deep fryers so I can make some fries. And how could I forget? I need to put on my chef suit so that I can make this kitchen effectively. So let's get going. First of all, I need to make sure there is a huge table right in the middle of this kitchen. This is where everything will be cooked. Maybe I should make it into one of those sushi restaurants with the conveyor belts. You know what? That's a really good idea. I'm doing it right now. Let me get... So what I'm going to do, guys, is get a creative motor, and I'll get these mechanical belts. Now, watch this. If I put a motor right here, and then I go ahead and pull a shaft out down here, and then I go ahead and put another one over here, I could connect these two up with a mechanical belt. If I throw an item on, as you can see, it will go down the belt. This is awesome! Now, I just need to make sure this thing even connects connects up right. So I'll go ahead and actually connect it up over here instead. Let's get rid of that one and put it uh, maybe over here. Boom. Just like this. Now if I go ahead and do the same thing over here, I should be able to have these connect up now like this. And I'll do another one on the other side. But now what I'm going to use, guys, is this thing called an ejector. And as you can see, if I go ahead and throw an item on like this, it will go all the way to this ejector system. And it should just about stop there. Yeah, that's right. But now I need to go 
ahead and connect this ejector up to a machine. And now if I throw this on, it should launch the item across. Oh, now what I need to do, guys, is I need to go ahead and make this connect up to another motor system. You are going to love this. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get another motor here with another one of these shafts and another mechanical belt going all the way to the other side over here. Now watch this. If I connect these mechanical belts up like that and then put this weighted ejector down facing right here, I should be able to make this work really well. Just watch this. I'll put the ejector facing towards this block right here and then I'll put it right there. Now if I connect it to a motor and then throw an object on the top, as you can see, it'll pull down and then it'll shoot all the way across to the other one. That's awesome. Now I just need to do the same thing on the other side. Louis thinks his traps are so good. Well, let me show him my trap. I put two snow blocks, one on top of the other, all around my bus. And now I'm going to put pumpkins on top of each one. And that will turn them into snowmen. This is going to scare all the zombies away. Hey, Louis, you should see my new trap. Oh, yeah? <laughs> new trap? Well, I bet it's trash compared to what I have over here. You wish. What do you mean, I wish? Oh, Louis, I hired a bunch of security guards. Wait, security guards? What are you talking about, security guards? Well, where are you, Louis? Come outside. I'm making something really cool. Just give me a little moment here, Pip. All right, Louis, but I'll give you a hint. They rhyme with Glowman. Glowman? Don't tell me you're using Snowman. Of course I'm not, Louis. Why would I use Snowman? Oh, my gosh. Hey, you know what? I'll take your word for it. It might just be a Glowman. But let me just test out my system really quickly. This could be really cool. All right, let's see. So that'll pull down. Down. I'll throw my thing on it, and then it shoots across to the other conveyor and goes all the way back. You know what? I'm gonna make this super power. I'll make it go really, really fast. Whoa! And then boop, it shoots over, and then it goes again. Um, Pip, I'm coming over to your side, but then you're gonna have to come and look at this. Oh, Louie, I can't wait to see your trash bus that isn't even a bus. It's a bus! Oh, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, Louie, it looks like a giant tractor. No, it's not a tractor. It's a bus. I don't appreciate you saying it's a tractor. Anyways, show me what's in here. Did you say you had a glow man in here? Oh, no, Louie, they're outside. What, outside? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. I thought you said glow man. I was expecting like a glowstone monster, but instead you showed me this. No, Louis. I never said they were glow men. I said it rhymed with glow man. Oh my gosh. You know, you know what, Pip? Tell you what. How about this? I'll show you how a pro builds the inside of his base. Come with me. How about you come and take a look at this? Let's see this trash base. Uh-huh. Sure thing, Pip. Trash. As always. Uh huh. What is this, Louis? This is my sushi restaurant. And it shoots across the sushi onto conveyor belts. What? If I go ahead and throw a bunch of items down, let's say all of this stuff, this stuff, and this stuff. Just watch, Pip. It's gonna be awesome. It shoots all of it across, ready to go. Wait, no way, Louis. This is actually so cool. Yep, the best part is I can ride on the conveyor belt myself. Watch. I'll go now. And it sends me over to this. One. And you go too, Pip. Look. Wow. I'll go on too. Woohoo. Yep. We can ride around on these conveyor belts. And it's a lot of fun. Yep, Louie. This is pretty cool. But do you like my outfit? Oh, get that Batman suit off. It never looks good on you, Pip. I'm making my kitchen right now. I'm putting a ton of ovens. And since this is going to be a sushi restaurant, we need a ton of sushi. You want to help me add some sushi in here, Pip? Yep, sure thing, Louie. Let me just throw some extra sushi on the conveyor belt. <laughs> Did you say extra sushi? What did you put on here? No, Pip! Get that dirt off my conveyor belt! Oh, is something wrong with the new ingredient, oh, Louie? Oh, that's horrible. Why did you put this here? Louie, I hope you enjoy. Oh, I don't enjoy it. I'm going to put some fish inside of these chests, and then I'll actually put them on the conveyor belt. This is so annoying with you putting all of this stuff on here. Oh, Louie, just put the dirt in your mouth. I'm sure it'll Ooh. taste good. Let me pick up all this dirt. This is so painful. Here we go. Boom. I'll get all the rest of the things that are left on here. This dirt block and this white block. And... All right. There we go. Now let's actually put some fish on this thing. So I'll get some crimson fish, some mushroom fish, and some gold. 
golden fish. This is what they serve in sushi restaurants. Just watch this, Pip. I'll put a few of these boom fish on. They're not dangerous. They're just boom fish after all. Boom fish? Wait, do they go boom? They just go boom in your mouth. That's how good they are. Let me also put some of these frozen fish down. And a ton of these golden fish. These are really, really nice to eat. They taste almost like oranges. And as you can see, Pip, there's a ton of sushi going down the conveyor belts now. This looks really cool. Oh, Louis, there's so much sushi. I kind of wish my school bus had a sushi restaurant. Well, maybe you should put one. But, oh, no, it's too late for you to do that. After all, I've already done it. You'd be copying me! And I don't know these mechanical systems very well. Yeah, I went to Redstone School and you didn't. Meaning I know way more about how these work. Well, Louis, at least I know way more about farming and building. Um, you know nothing about building. Well, actually, you kind of do. That bus is really good. But I could do farming better than you. Oh, really now, Louis? I guess I'll go work on a farm then. You know what, guys? I think Pip is way more of a pro than I am right now. In this video, it's like Pip's become better than me for some reason. Oh no, guys. Comment down below if I'm losing my edge. But anyways, guys, we need to add a roof to this sushi restaurant so that all of the fish doesn't fly out. I'll just set it to white concrete as the roof. But now, as you can see, I have a driver's seat. Wait, wait a second. What is this? Wait, Pip's over there building. Then why does this say Pip's face is better? Pip's bus is better? No, it is not! What? Pip is literally putting a bar on the top of his bus. And he's saying it's better than mine? Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever, guys. I need to add a few more rooms to my bus. And what better to do at the back over here than an escape route? Let's go ahead and add one in. I'll set the roof to white concrete. And this is where my escape plan is going to be. I'm going to add a little road at the back here. And I'll set it to black concrete. This way, it looks like a road. And I can also go ahead and add some yellow wool and some black concrete to make this look like there's a line in the road. Now, I'll open up the back of my bus here. And this is where my escape route is going to be. And if you guys are wondering what I'm going to be escaping with, I'm going to be using some of these. I could use a bumper car, or maybe a couch, or maybe even a go-kart. Look at these guys. I have a rainbow couch, go-kart, and I have a bumper car. Let's just fuel them all up so I'm ready to go. This way, if any of those zombies attack, I get overwhelmed. I can just hop in one of these cars and escape. And then Pip will be left for himself in his tiny little bus. It'll be so sad. But now I've got my escape plan ready. It's time to make an armory room. This is so that I can actually go ahead and grab everything I need to fight off that zombie invasion. So let's go ahead and make the ground out of stone bricks, red wool, and a little bit of lava to make it look really scary. Let's go ahead and fill in these blocks so lava doesn't leak out. And fill in all this middle area with red wool. That's looking pretty nice. Now all I need is some chests at the end and some armor stands ready to go. This is where I'll put all of my weapons and armor ready to fight those zombies. So let's get an armor stand first because I need to put some crazy armor down. And what better to use than some dragon steel armor? You guys should know by now that this is the strongest armor in the entire of Minecraft. And just in case Pip needs some, I'll put two pieces of dragon steel there and a chest full of dragon steel swords. Now all I need is a bunch of golden apples so that I will be ready to eat them when I take a lot of damage. This way, there is nothing that the zombies can do to stop me. I'm going to put down this elemental weapon called an ice crystal. And this way, I'll be able to freeze any zombies. Woohoo! What do you guys think of that? It's OP, but not as OP as my next weapon, this dragon bone bow. This can kill a zombie in a single shot, which makes it extremely effective for fighting the zombie army. But now all I need, guys, is a place to be able to shoot from. Because how am I going to be able to shoot those zombies if I don't have a shooting range? So let's go ahead and build up into the air here. And let's build a nice big balcony coming out of the side of my bus. Let's build it out of this yellow because this is the color of the rainbow we came to here. And I'll go ahead and add a fence going around the entire outside of this thing. This looks really nice. This works as my shooting range. But I think I'll also put some water down here. So it works as an escape route just in case I get ambushed by those zombies. I'll just be able to jump all the way down here and escape. There we go.
go. Oh no, wait a second. Pip, I think we've been building for a while because the sun is going down and the moon is coming up. Wait, already? Yeah, this is really bad. That zombie army is going to attack any second now. I need to go ahead and add a roof to my bus, but also get suited up for the battle. Come on. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let me put on my armor. There we go. I added a room. Now let me get my armor on too. Come on, come on, come on. Dragon steel armor. Let's go. All right. Now I'm suited up. It's time to go. Louis, we need to get Mikey and JJ into their bedroom. My good point. Come on, hurry. And boom. We have JJ and his entire family inside of my bedroom right now. What about you, Pip? That's good. I've got Mikey's family in my bedroom. Well. Nice work. Okay, let's just keep getting suited up. And then let's prepare for the zombie invasion. I'll get a few golden apples. I'll also get an ice crystal. And then my dragon bone bow and sword. Wait a second, Pip. Did you just switch huh? into survival mode? Yeah, Louie. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, it does. The zombies are attacking. Come on, Pip. Let's see what's happening out there. Oh, no. <gasps> the zombies are here. And Watch out. Oh, there's so many, but they're starting to fall into my fake water. But, Pip, they are walking straight in through your front door. That fake water is not slowing them down. Oh, don't worry, Louie. Get some kind of low, and then I can finish them off. All right, well, that's really good, but look at this, Pip. The zombies are walking straight into my lava trap and dying. And whenever they don't, I'll shoot them like this. Louie, you're so OP. This isn't fair. Well, I worked on the traps more than the outside of my base. That's why it's so good. Well, surely my security guards should be doing something by now. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but it seems your security guards are taking a well-deserved break. A, a break during the most important time when they're needed? That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, Pip. They're just, they're just having a moment to themselves. They don't want to fight any zombies. I don't think anyone does. Louie, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed over here. Can you help me? All right, fine. Let me just jump down into my water pit and run. Go, 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 go. All right, Pip, I'm here. Come on, there's so many behind you. Don't worry, Pip. We can kill them. And ow, don't shoot me in the butt. Well, don't get in the way then, Louis. Oh, it's fine. I can just freeze them. If they come too close, I'll just freeze them, okay? Ow. Louis, stay out of the way. The zombies are getting crazy. I know. They're getting in. And I don't think your defenses are strong enough, Pip. Where's Mikey? In his bedroom, over there. Are you joking me? Those zombies are coming straight through the front door and Mikey is right here. Well, yeah, Louie, I didn't think he would get past my traps. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry, Pip. We just need to make sure these zombies don't get any further inside and ow! They're getting in! Let me use my fire dragon steel sword and Pip, they're getting towards Mikey's room! Kill them, Louie! Oh, no. Mikey, don't worry. I'll save you. Hiya! Oh, ew. Don't worry, Pip. We can finish off the rest of these zombies right now. It seems we're okay, but uh, are you sure the electricity in your bus is doing very well? Your TVs are flickering. Louie, I don't know why that's happening. Maybe the zombies are messing with the electricity. Oh, that's because your bus was built so badly. They could just mess anything up. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just make sure none of them gets inside here. And we should be okay. Whoa, the so many! This is bad! We're getting overwhelmed! Watch out! Look how many zombies just came up the staircase! This is really, really bad! Louie, I think we need to move Mikey right now! Me too! These zombies are getting crazy! Oh, you know what? You hold them off! I'll tell Mikey we need to go! Come on, Mikey! We gotta go to my bus! No! The zombies are getting in! Come on, I'm trying to distract them! Alright, distract them a little bit more! We need to give Mikey a chance to escape! Alright, Pip! Mikey's entire family is following me right now. How's the work on the zombies? And whoa, there's so many. Yeah, not very good, Louis. Don't worry, Pip. I'll freeze them all. Take this, zombies. <gasps> You're freezing all of them. Die! And boom, we killed all of those zombies. How about we get Mikey to my base now and get out of here? Let's do it, Louis. All it right. sounds like the only safe thing. 
Come on, Mikey family. We gotta go. Let's fight our way out. Come on, come on, come on. And oh, no. They're swimming through the fake water and they made it. Come on, guys. We need to get over here. All right, Pip, look. They made it through my traps. Now we just have to get them to climb the ladders. Come on, guys. Come on, we push them up. And boom, Pip. We got Mikey's entire family into the room. Oh, Louie, they're so secure in here. But there's one problem. There's so many zombies. And if we don't get out of here right now, we're going to be ambushed and die. Oh, Louie, we need to get out of here. Stay. All right, follow me. Let's get to the driver's seat and get this bus out of here. Come on, go, go, go. All right, Pip, you take one set of controls, and I'll take the other. Let's get going. We need to get out of here. Press a bunch of buttons. Oh, Louie, we've been driving for ages. Can we stop now? I think we can, Pip. Look, we just hit a wall. Wait, wait where are we? I don't know. Maybe we should go and check. Let's go out of the side of my bus's balcony. See where we are. All right, here we go. Let's look out of the back and... Whoa! Look, we totally just drove away. Your bus is just back there. We're so far away. Those zombies won't get us now. I know, right? And the best part is it's daytime now. So we totally survived. We did it. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much for watching. But if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Pip's dead.